Hello, CTC. Welcome to 21 days of prayer and fasting from the Wilson family. Uh, the passage we'll be reading from today is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 18 through 20. And this is from the NLT version. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people who are called his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in a place of honor at God's right hand in heavenly places. You can cross-reference the verse above with Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, and Hebrews 12, verse 2. Paul also establishes in early verses in the chapter that we are his family and he has adopted us. Because we are united in Christ, we have received an inheritance and sealed by his Holy Spirit. This has to be understood as the baseline. He starts by praying that God would give us spiritual wisdom, insight, revelation in order to grow and in the knowledge of God. The way that he says this happens is for our hearts to be flooded with light. You've got to let him in and the hardness dark places of the heart have to be exposed. When we are seated with him, there is a perspective change. You're not operating from the fleshly or soul realm. Remember that sight is a function of the eye, but vision is a function of the heart and requires processing. When seated with him, you can speak into the crooked places in someone's life. It allows you to speak how God sees them and call out their purpose, making the path straight. Pray with me now over our vision. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for his perspective change. I pray during this time of fasting and prayer that our hearts will be flooded with your light. I pray for an exposure and extraction. I thank you, Father, for the unity that we have with Christ that he purchased by the shedding of his blood. I pray for an alignment and your vision over the body of Christ. Help position us so that we can speak life and purpose into others because you are far above all principality and power and might and dominion. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Uh, thank you for joining us for 21 days of prayer and fasting at Central Triad Church where we transform lives, we produce disciples, and we impact the world.